Just getting things set up here. Hello, hello, hello everyone, and welcome to Stamp with Shell. My name is Shell Anderson, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator located in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. I do short lunch break with Shell video tutorials Tuesdays and Thursdays at noon, as well as Facebook Live videos Wednesday nights at 6.30. Today we are going to be making a very simple card, but I have four different stamp sets that we're going to be using. We're going to be using the Quiet Meadow Bundle. We're going to be using the Lovely You stamp set. We're going to be using the Stitchery stamp set. And we're going to be using the Artistically Inked stamp uh, bundle. And we're going to be using Fresh Freesia and Memento Black Ink for our card today. Our card base is Basic Black. And we have a card liner that is Basic White. I'm going to put that liner right in the card off the hop. And I love the way that pops off the black. So there we go. Next up, I have a piece of Fresh Freesia cardstock that we are going to put on the front as a matte layer, just like so. And love the pop there as well. All right, we're going to set that aside and we are going to work on our art panel. We are going to be using the Stitchery stamp. And I have chosen this stamp here. It's like the intertwined lines. So I'm just going to ink this up. See, I got some off the edge. You got to be careful of that. And we are going to stamp that down along the outside. And turn our cardstock around, re ink, and do the same thing. on this side just like so and now we just have the two ends just forming a little frame with our card sad to see that this is one of the stamps that are retiring because I really, really like it. There we go. Now we're just going to slide that out of the way and I am going to bring in a cloth and clean up this ink so I don't get it all over everywhere. And next up we are going to do our greeting. And this is from the Lovely You bundle. It says, miles apart, but still in my heart. How nice is that? I'm going to get that inked up well. And I am going to put that in the top corner. And hopefully it goes straight. Beautiful. I'm happy with that. All right. Now, while we're doing stamping, we might as I should have stamped this before I put it in my card. Because if I mess up, I mess up, right? All right. I'm just going to stamp happy birthday. Phew. Got away with that one. 
All right. Now we're gonna put the cover on that black ink and we're gonna bring in our Fresh Freesia ink and a blending brush. And I'm just going to load up the blending brush and I need a piece of scrap. And I don't have any. I can't believe I just emptied my garbage can. Oh, I guess I can use this little piece. And I'm just going to tap off a little bit. And I am slowly going to add just a bit of color down in this corner. Softly blending it a little bit out. And do the same thing again, load it up, tap off the excess, and I'm just going to bring it out a little bit more. It's always better to gradually build your color because you can always add more, but you can't take it off. All right, I think that's going to be enough. And there is our Fresh Freesia. Very happy that that one carried over. All right. Now we get to put this on the front of our card. go and we're just going to get our borders as even as we can. Love that Tombow gives us that little second of wiggle room. Isn't that pretty? See the pop? All right now I need some ribbon. We'll bring in some fresh freesia ribbon. But before we do that, I have die cut one of the flowers from the Quiet Meadow Bundle. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Say BAM! Now we're just going to eyeball it. And we're going to cut some off the bottom here. Something like that. And then we are going to put some glue on the back and fasten that into place. There we go. And I'm just going to make sure that the bottom of this stem is down in the black area. And we'll just let it fall in place. Isn't that pretty? So simple. All right, now I have also die cut two butterflies, one in black and one in fresh freesia. We're going to pop those on the card as well. I'm just going to put the glue in the middle of the butterfly because I want to pop up his wings and give him a little dimension. So we'll glue him flat and then once that's adhered well, we will pop up the wings. Now this one on the inside, it's going to be different. We are going to glue it flat because we want our card to lay flat. And I'm just going to pop that one right up here in the corner, like so. All right, I think that guy should be dry enough that we can give those wings a little bit of a lift. Just hold on to the center. Doesn't it look better when it has some dimension? All right, I'm going to bring in my bow maker. And let's put the cover on that. And we will make a wee bow, just a little wee one. Oh, 
Oops. Let's try again. I'm all thumbs. It's hard when these pegs are so close together. But I just want a tiny bow. All right, I think we're good there. There we go. And some ribbon scissors. Just want a little bow down there at the bottom. Nothing too fancy or too large. Just a little something to bling it up a little. So now I need a glue dot or two. And we will get this on. Where is the first one? There it is. I'm just going to put that right there and then we'll grab a couple more just to tame our tails. There we go. Very pretty. I think I'm going to shorten those tails a little wee bit. Just so they don't interfere when I put the card in an envelope. All right. Pretty, pretty. Now, whoops. <laughs> did you see what I did? I tried to put my glue dots inside the ribbon instead of inside the box. Now we need a little blingy blingy. So let me move these stamps. And we will bring in our embellishments and see what we can find. I'm wondering. There's in color opals. I don't want any more black. We could use those easily enough. I'm so indecisive. <laughs> I think I will just use one of these two options. Let's pull these out and have a look. Let's pull these ones out too. I think I'm going to go with these ones. Oh yes, very nice. I'm going to put a big one right there. And then I'll put a little one right there. And do you know what? I think I'm going to change my mind if I can get this big one off. Ha ha. I'm going to take these off and put them on the butterfly. Maybe. Blinga blinga. You know what? I don't like them. I'm going to take them off the butterfly and go to these super sparkly ones. With that dark black cardstock, they just got completely lost. So let's give these ones a whirl. Oh yes, much better. Much better. Get 
those wings back up there. And I think I'm going to scatter a couple of more around the flower. Oops, on my finger. There we go. How pretty is that? Beautiful. I like it. So there we have our card for today. And that used four different stamp sets or bundles. Once again, the outside one is the stitchery that is retiring. The next one I used is the happy birthday came from artistically inked. Then I have lovely you which is retiring for this beautiful greeting. And then I have Quiet Meadow for my shadows. That's it, my friends. All four of those were used on the card. Okay, I hope you enjoyed today's card. I hope you give it a try and share it. Let us see what you create. All right, have a great day. Bye-bye.